Now that we've looked at some string functions, and before we move on to tackle regular expressions, let's take a look at another way of marking out string variables. Normally when we specify a string variable, we simply put the string that we're assigning as the value in quotation marks. We can use single or double quotes. And if we use double quotes, then we can use new line characters within that. However, there's another way of marking out a string that you should be aware of. This way means we never have to worry about escaping either kind of quote, and we don't have to worry about different levels of quotes conflicting with each other and so on. This way is the here document way. And if you're familiar with Unix, you're probably familiar with this way of marking quotes anyway. If not, here's a brief explanation of how it works. We set up a boundary character. First of all, we use two lesser than signs. Then we use a set of characters here, traditionally in capital letters, followed by a semicolon. And then we put and then finally, at the end, we simply put the text that we chose as the boundary for the here document at the end on a line of its own. And then we continue with our Perl script. If we move over to our command prompt and run the script, the Perl script has actually marked out the portions of the script that were surrounded by the boundary and it's marked them out as the parts of the script that are just showing the string. So it doesn't try to interpret them as Perl code. We don't have to call it boundary. We can call it hey if we wanted. And that works just as well. However, we need to call it the same thing, both sides. Otherwise we'll get something unexpected happening can't find string terminator hey anywhere before the end of the file in our script is the error that Perl returns. As long as we use the same characters either end of the here document style string, then we're able to use multi-line text without worrying about ever escaping any quotes and so on. You could get by very easily with, without ever using the here document style but it's handy to recognize, to be able to use yourself, and also to be able to know what it means when you're looking at other people's code.